OM Systems has definitely picked up the torch and carried it on and brought us the OM-1, which is the WOW camera. Now, I think just about everybody can agree that there were four things that needed to be done. At least these are the four big things that people seem to want on all the forums. They wanted more resolution. They wanted more dynamic range. They definitely wanted better high ISO performance. And also everybody wanted a new viewfinder, okay? And yes, the new camera actually ticks every single one of those boxes. I mean, it's obvious it's got a new viewfinder that is twice the resolution of the old one. And it's the viewfinder that's found in the E1X, which is awesome because I love that viewfinder. It's big and luscious and comfortable to use. And then uh, <laughs> there is the ISO performance boost, which is two stopped. That's more than I was actually thinking was reasonable to ask for, but you know, we got it. You know, a lot of people were saying, oh, if I get one more stop, I'd be happy. And then, and then there was the, the resolution thing, okay? So this is one that everybody was kind of divided about. A lot of people said, oh, I want the same resolution. There is a smaller minority though, who wanted a little bit more resolution. Well, folks, I'm kind of happy to say that OM Systems, they pulled a fast one on us and they did both. Okay, they really did do both. So this sensor, it's really an 80 megapixel sensor, but it's been binned two by two to make it a 20 megapixel sensor, which means that we have the same size pixels. And of course, with newer technology and so forth, we got the two stop increase in ISO range. But at the same time, based on like the pictures that I'm seeing from, from some of these reviewers, and these are raw pictures, by the way, these are not JPEGs that I'm looking at. It looks like they're doing like a, a weighted averaging rather than just straight out averaging the pixels together when they bend them two by two. And, and because they're doing this kind of weighted averaging summing scheme of things, because that's what it looks like to me, what that means is that the 20 megapixel picture that we're getting out of this camera is going to be sharper and crisper. Now remember, all sensors use the Bayer pattern. And that means that really a 20 megapixel sensor is only five megapixels red, five megapixels blue, and 10 megapixels green. The rest of it is just all interpolated or upscaled in order to make it 20 megapixels. But because of this average weighting system that I highly suspect is in this, well, it means that we're gonna see a much sharper picture. And it's gonna actually feel like it's almost a 24, maybe 25 megapixel sensor, which is awesome because they've essentially kind of filled the needs of both camps, the, the smaller camp, which wanted a little bit more resolution, and the much larger camp that wanted the same resolution, they just wanted more ISO performance. And, and then lastly, of course, everybody wanted more dynamic range. And when I first looked at the sensor specs, I, I thought that we wouldn't really get more dynamic range because it was still a 12-bit sensor. But I, I kind of have to say that I slipped up a little bit there. I didn't really go back and look at the old sensors quite well. So the older sensors were, yes, they were 12-bit sensors, the, the IMX 270s that are found on the EM1 Mark III, the Mark II, and the EM1X. But the amount of data that they put into that 12-bit file is more like an 11-bit image, okay? But you know, of course, computers, we gotta, we gotta keep it an even number, so it's gotta be 12-bit. But this 12-bit sensor, the IMX472, which is in the new camera, it's definitely packing all the data that can be packed into a 12-bit file. So yeah, it seems to fit all four things that kind of everybody was asking for. So yeah, I, I really would say that this is kind of a wow camera. And it really folks just take a close look at it. I'm sure there's plenty of other reviewers out there that can give you all the specs, so I will not bore you with those things. I am, of course, going to get my hands on one just as soon as I can. You know, I'm in talk with my dealer about getting one. You know, we're not quite yet really able to do pre-orders yet where I live, but we will soon. You can, I think, from the website itself, but I'm going through my dealer. You know, I always like to support my local businesses that way. Now, Olympus, if you are watching this, you know, break out a cold one or a keg of beer or open a bottle of wine. I don't know, however you celebrate in Japan, you guys have definitely done an awesome job. We thank you from the depths of our hearts. You know, this is a great camera and we hope that you're working on the next camera. You know, let's keep this momentum going. I think this is a great thing.